Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today is a takeoff from a previous episode where we made the beaded sun catchers. Beautiful, aren't they? Today, we're going to take that same idea and make some beautiful crystal dancing girls. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need beads, assorted beads, you will need bead findings, bead caps, you will need some bead wire, you'll need some four inch head pins. You will also need a set of pliers, some curling pliers, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. We begin this project by making a beaded cluster ball. If you'd like to know how to make one of those, click on the link here. Instead of using 30 beads to make a beaded cluster ball, I am going to use 20 and make half of a ball. So here we go, I will show you. We have 20 beads. I'm going to line them up in the same sequence with the, as you would with the cluster ball. There's a five, and a four, and a three. And doing this helps a lot in as you string them onto the wire, it helps to keep you on track. But like I said, I only need 20. I don't need 30 of them. And 20 beads is enough to make half of the cluster ball. So see, five, nine, 12, 13, 15, 19, 20. Stop right there. Okay. So we line up our rows, five, four, three, 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 two. And now we need some wire. These are six inch crystal beads and you want to make sure they're all the same size. And we pull out some wire. I'm going to give myself quite a bit. I'd like more than less because it's easier to finish off the cluster when you're done if you have a little more wire to work with. So here we go. Start it off like you would the regular cluster ball. Take the five and we're going to string them onto the wire. I was stringing these cluster balls and got halfway through and I thought, that looks like a skirt. And that's where the idea came to make the little dancing crystal ladies. Bring the two ends together because you want the beads to be as close to the center as you can make them. There they are. And take right side, left side on the wire. And you take the left side and you come in back through the last bead on that line, pull it together and you end up with a little pentagon of five beads. Now I want to take these back again together and I want to even out just by manipulating the beads. I want to get as close as I can to the center of that wire. I'm just moving them around and pulling on the shorter side. See, I'm trying to get that even. Let's see what we've got here. Put these two ends as close as possible. There we go. So we've got our pentagon back. These two ends are closer. Now you've got a right side and a left side. It always helps me to stay keep it straight and we go to the next set of four beads. We're going to string them on the right side. Right side wire. One, two, three, four. And we're going to pull them down. Take the left side wire, come through, back through that last bead on that set. Pull it through. Now you've got two little pentagons. Every time you add a little bit of beads, you're going to make a set of five. Now what I want to do is take the left side wire and push it through the next bead where you just came out. And what you're doing is you're making a little V shape of wire between the two. Okay? And that hooks them together. And we've got a left side and right side. And we're going to add three beads this time. You see there's two beads there in the center. And we're going to add three to that. And that will make the next little pentagon. A little five 
sets of five, always sets of five. That's there on the right side. Again, pull the left side over, go through that last bead. This is why I like extra wire because they do move around and roll around and I'd rather have more wire to work with. Now you've got your next set on there and the piece is starting to curl up a little bit. It's got a little bit of a curve. I like to put my thumb in there to keep myself on track. You're gonna take that left side and push it through the next bead. This is what you have looking like a little bit of a turtle shell. There's two beads there. We're gonna take the next set of three and we're going to string it on the right side. One, two, three. Let it meet, bring the left side wire over, come back through that first, excuse me, that last bead on that little set there. And I've got another set of five. I'm gonna take the wire and push through its neighbor there. Okay, we've got two more sets to do. Right side, left side, we take the right wire and string on three this time. That's where it's really helpful to have them lined up so you know exactly how many beads to put on. It's the waiting there for you. Now we're going to take the left side, come back through that last bead and pull it. There you go. Now this time we have two beads left to add to this. So we're gonna take see the left wire. We're gonna go through the two neighbors, two, because we're gonna add two beads. So if we go next two beads on this, you end up making a set of three that's ready for the last set of two, which ends up making another pentagon of five. <laughs> it all makes sense in the end. I'm, right now I'm just trying to make sure the gaps in the wire, there it goes, are pulled through. A lot of wiggling going on. And you see too, one side is little bit longer, see that? And that just happens as you string along because the beads slip. So here we go again. The curved side's towards me, right side, left side, two beads left. One, two on the right side. Take the left side wire, come through that last bead. And done. Now, this is half of the beaded cluster ball, and that's going to be the skirt of the little dancing lady. And to finish this part off, I'm going to take each wire and just going to run them through this edge. See that? Just to give it a little more stability. I'm just going to work my way around the edge. Just going to go to the next bead, pull it, next bead. Pull it, see? Now, this one's longer. I'm gonna do it on this side too. Just work my way around so that these two wires are gonna meet on the bottom there. This is just my way of closing off the skirt, making sure it's gonna be nice and strong. And it's a fine way to get the two pieces together. Yep, this one's still longer. Need better eyeballs. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The wire disappears really well. So these two are both come out at the same spot. And now I'm just going to tie a simple, simple knot. A couple of them. This wire is good enough. This bead along wire, uh, 0.018 inches and 0.46 millimeters. That's the wire I'm using. I've got one knot there. I'm gonna make another simple knot. And now I'm gonna use my pliers 
to really try to make that tight. I'm just torquing on it. I want that to be nice and tight. Switch the other side just to make sure. I think usually two is enough. You could add another knot if you want. And now I'm going to snip closely as I can to that spot. Oop. There we go. And the skirt is done. So let's move on. The next thing is her legs. For her legs, I used these head pins and I was lucky enough to find four inch head pins because that just makes it a lot easier and I can give her really long legs <laughs> to make her legs. I used a combination of beads. I found these elongated beads and I thought they reminded me of uh, slippers like a ballerina would wear. And what I did was found ones that I thought looked similar because you know the colors are varied and sometimes they're lighter and darker and sometimes they're thicker so I like these two right here and all I did was I took my pliers this is a plastic here this bead and I just came in just snapped and I ended up with a little point let's see if it finds success with the second one and it easily comes off and there's I've got two right there that I like that are the same size now so I've got a four inch head pin it's got that little knob on the end of it and I put the point of the bead down point of the bead down okay then I wanted something that looked like the heel of her slipper and I found these little pink beads Boy, I went through a bunch of beads to find for this project, so have some fun with that. And here goes. Da, da, da. Yep, she's ready to do her pirouette. There, there's her little feet. See? Now, I want to fill this up with beads. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use this size right here. I want something crystal that's going to really complement the skirt. So let me see, I think I'm gonna fill this up. I think I'm gonna use nine of these little guys. Let's see how it looks. He's so cute. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm gonna go with nine. I'm gonna hold it up too. Let's see if I like that length. And I think I do. I think that'll be a good length. So let's do it on the other leg. Nine of these little beads that make up her leg. And three more. So we've got nine little leg beads. I want to curl a little using my curling pliers here. I'm just going to set this in here and I'm just going to make a circle. I want a place for these guys to hang. And then I've got two circles there in the wire and I'm going to cut off the excess. So that's what I have so far. A little slipper, a little bead, nine crystals, and I put a circular edge to it. Do it the same on the other side. I'm using this little curling tool. I just pull the wire around it. Switch so that I pull it back up. Come around. All right, two legs. Now, how are we gonna attach the legs to the skirt? We're gonna use wire. So grab some more wire. I'm going to use probably about a foot of wire and we're going to come halfway and I'm going to take these little legs and I'm going to string the wire through one little leg, two little legs. Okay, now if I just put this skirt through, I guess you could do that. I didn't like the looks of it. So what I'm going to do is attach another bead that's going to fit into that spot underneath the skirt. 
So here we go halfway. And I'm going to find a bead that's a little bit... I think I can use... Yep, see how that will not come through? I'm using the same size bead as I used to make the skirt. And I'm pu putting both wires through. So this is what you're going to have. The two little legs are going to dangle off of this bead. Okay? And then this bead is going to get pushed. Push the wire through the skirt. And now you see the little legs are going to dangle more. And that bead is going to hold things in place. Now, to keep going here, to keep building, I'm going to take another bead of the same skirt size and string it onto these two wires. What I'm building now is a place for her midriff to sit, see? So th those two beads fit into that space and I think work really well in making it look very nice. Now I need a finding. I'm using this bead finding, a bead cap. You could use whatever you'd like. There's all different things you could put on there. There's different findings you could use, see? Put different caps to have fun and play with that. So I've got this one here. Now I need a body, and then for that I'm going to use a teardrop bead. And since they have little waists, or tend to, <laughs> I put the teardrop, thin end of the teardrop down. Put the wire through. Got that much, and there's her little, her little body. Let's see if we're on track here. Oh, she's gonna be a little taller than her friend. Now I need to make arms. Good little dancers, aren't they? <laughs> so the arms, let's set her down for a moment. Okay, arms. I'm going to use one more of the four inch wires. It's got a bead on the end and I'm going to find some little hands. Now here again, you could use whatever you'd like. I wanted to use a smaller bead. I take two beads and I'm going to take one of the hand beads place it on there and then I'm going to fill up with nine little clear beads. These represent her arms. These are just little clear seed beads. Again you could use whatever color you'd like. I'm going with clear. So I'm going to string nine of these onto this wire. Working on the hands. You could use a little finding to give her a little cuff if you wanted to. Now I'm going to use my little reference here. I think that's pretty good. I've got this much left. So what I'm going to do is put another little circle there. There's a part of me that thinks I want to add another. I'm going to add one more bead. I don't know why. Okay, so I've got the hand and ten clear beads. I'm going to use my curling tool. Put it right next to that bead and pull the wire around to make a circle. Okay, bring it back up and around. So I'm going to use this one wire to make both arms. And right now I'm think about it like I'm making her neck. Okay, so we have the two little things. So we have the two little circles there. I'm going to bend it around just a little bit so it's more flat. Now we have this side to use to make the other arm. And they're going to be hooked in the center together. So let's start stringing backwards. I put ten clear beads there. Okay, let's see how we are here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the little hand bead. Now oh, I've got too much wire at the end here. That's okay. And I have a the ball right there, but I'm just going to snip off some excess. And I'm going to curl this around. I want just enough there to keep everything in place. I don't mind that it doesn't match the other side. That's fine. I'll just give it a snip. And you can barely tell they're not the same thing. But look at, there we go. And there are her arms. Okay, this part here is the neck. And I'll show you why. You see, you can maneuver the pin, which is nice. Now, you're just going to string her little arms through that hole right on the wire. Okay, 
she looks like she's not very excited right now. But now what I'd like to do is flatten that piece out just a little bit here. Let me do that. I want her neck to sit a little more flat, so I'm going to hold on to this and just push down on the wire a little bit. And you can position the arms however you'd like. Push back through. Oh, both wires. Okay, we've got her arms. I want to attach her head, but I want to cover up this little spot where her arms are, her neck. And I'm going to do that with a finding. And here I used a little teeny silver finding. You can have some fun with this. You can find, oh gosh, you could even make something pretty like you could put a little collar on her let's see how this would look see this is where you have some fun she could have a little blue collar or any color you've got I am going to add a simple finding of silver it's just a little bead cap and that's going to be your neck we're going to string this through put both wires through that center hole drop it down and there's what we have so far, the headless dancer. Let's <laughs> see how she moves. Okay, and then I'm just gonna just squeeze a little bit on that bead cap just to help shape her to the, the body a little bit better. Shape it down a little bit, just give a little bit of a squeeze. There we go. <laughs> She's ready to dance. Her head, her head is gonna be a bead, let's see. I wanted a, a little bit bigger bead than I used on her body, or on her skirt. Hmm. Let's try this bead. Now if this one's giant sized, we'll find something different. Oh, okay. What do you think? Oh, she's ready to dance, isn't she? <laughs> There's her head to finish her off. Now, I don't know if she's a princess or not, but I like to add a little crown look. And now, this one here has one, two, three findings and another little bead at the top. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. I want some sort of a little crown on her. Ah, here it is. Here's one, a little bit bigger. So add this rondelle bead. She's getting fancier, isn't she? Now I want to cover up that hole. And I'm gonna do that, what did I do over here? I put another bead cap on. Let's see what we got here. Here's one, see the little bead cap? Push it through, I'm putting it so that it looks kind of like a crown, it's gonna fit into that spot. And then finish it off. Mm, I found these really cute beads that looked like little tulips. I don't even know where I got them, but see that tiny little bead? And if I put that on, so play with this and layer them up until you get something you like. Okay, getting cuter. And then to finish that off, I want to put a little teeny bead. Let's just do a little teeny clear bead. You could get something that matches her outfit. In this case, she's all crystal. So let's put a crystal bead in the top and it fits right down in there. I've got all this extra, and I want to either make her an ornament or something you can just hang, but I don't want that much wire on there. So I'm gonna snip this even and pull it down and push it into that bead, but I have to put a crimper bead on there. Got a crimper bead, I had two of them. Put it through the wire, put the wire through the crimper bead, and it meets down at the top of her crowny hat. And I have to decide how much of this I want to, this is too much. So I'm just going to cut off some of it. And I'm going to very gently, I'm going to keep taut. I want to keep her body together. So I'm going to hang on with my left hand and gather up these two edges, which should be even, and push them into the crimper bead. There's plenty of room in there. It's a matter of getting my little eyeballs to help out. So I'm keeping pressure on this side here that holds her and this side that's going in okay and I, I'm going to crimp them together give it a good crimp 
the crimping beads in place. And our little lady is ready to dance. <laughs> Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. <laughs> And there you have it. Isn't she adorable? Our own little crystal dancing lady. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you know when our next episode is coming along. Until then, gather up some beads and make something lovely. Everyone loves dancers. I do. See you again. <laughs>